Hello guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Channel. Please, if you are just joining us, kindly subscribe and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. My people, my people, I go knock on auditory of our federal government can say it go resume payment of wage award this week. So make on a listen as I knock on a this story. The federal government, it don't assure the Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, it say payment of wage award to workers, it go resume this week. The federal government, it don't also beg the labor centers. It say may they withdraw their 14-day ultimatum. Say because the government, it don't step up effort to complete implementation of the 60-point agreement where it be say it reached with them on 2nd October 2023. The Minister of State, Labor and Employment, Way be the person of Ikiruka Oyen Joshua. He can't give, give this assurance and he can't beg, say, at the midway, be say, he can't owe with the leadership of the two labor centers in Abuja. She can't brief them, say, the labor centers. He said that they on the progress of the implementation of the agreement and to reaffirm them, say, the government's commitment. To the agreement, it day on ground already. She can't say, not true, say they enter into an agreement. It say, but the government, it don't show good faith and say they consider the urgency of the issue at hand. It can't say, it call this meeting because of, say, dialogue, not always the best way out of such matter. And it can't say, we are all for the well-being of our people. He can say she did here to show good cause on why some agreements the Nova Fi meet up with her. Oye Joshua can note the reaction of the labor organization and it was not unwarranted in the face of the government's non-completion of the agreement. However, urge organized labor to bear in mind that some items in the agreement could only be achieved in stages. The minister will come request the labor center, say may they withdraw their ultimatum. He can assure them of the president's sincerity of purpose and inflicting dedication to the implementation where it be say they agreed on, adding that it would leave no stone unturned to satisfy the demands of the labor organizations. She can't say they plead with the labor organization. No. He said that all they show good faith. It's just that in all day commensurate with the labor expectation. He said but say she can't promise. Say they go surpass their expectations this time. And he says she believes say everything go go away. And so she can't make her clear. On the compressed natural gas CNG buses, program director and chief executive of the presidential CNG initiative will be the person of Michael Oluwagbemi. He can't address the meeting virtually he can't state say the government don't already make 70 percent payments for the procurement of new cng buses and cng kits oluwag bemi come further explain say as he be say some of the buses don't they ready he say he expect to start assembling others locally including the tricycles between March and April 2024. 
president of Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, will be the person of Joe Ajaru. He called Ajon the federal government to be committed to beating the deadline of the 40 day ultimatum. We be say it will start on 9th February 2024 by ensuring the implementation of that agreement. Ajaro, he can't declare their resolve to stand by the ultimatum, and he can't state say every part to the agreements make they achieve them and make they live up to expectations for the interests of Nigerians and the government. He can't make a clear say organized labor that they are ready to fulfill their part of the bargain. He says so long as the federal government will do the same. The first deputy president of TUC will be the person of Dr. Tommy Okon. While according Ajaro's concern, he can criticize the government's graduate approach to the implementation of the signed agreement. Now, so he can't make his mind clear. He say they get a lot of respect for you. That is honorable minister. He said, I make their day here. He said, so they don't need to beg the government make it do what they write. Tommy can't make a clear say. <laughs> he said, the way we say there be organized labor. He said, and there be the one way we say that they manage the crisis. We be say day for this country. That they manage them for the government. He said, if not, he said that for not day yet today, they discuss these issues. The meeting, they can't agree on an immediate joint inspection visit to the Port Accord refinery for labor. May they take confirm and say the true, true progress day in getting the refinery back into operation. My people, my people, not be today who don't they hear all this matter. It don't reach where it be say action will take place for this matter of a wage will be said they don't they drag since how many months consul. So my people, my people, I go end the matter for you. I on a sin. Make on a drop on a thought on the comment section. And make on a not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.